Hello, this is Yogesh Baloda from San Jose State University, and the topic of our research is parameter optimization of a heatsink using ANSYS and MATLAB. So for this project, uh, we focused on high-powered LED panels, and uh, the main problem with high, these panels is that they have high operating temperatures, uh, and because of those high operating temperatures, they lose efficiency over time. What we're trying to do is we're trying to focus on passive techniques to cool down these panels so that the efficiency of these LEDs can be maintained. And we use two things to cool these panels down, and those were heat sinks and thermosiphons. So what this research work mostly focuses on is uh, using ANSYS and MATLAB to optimize the heat sink so that um, we can have the maximum temperature reduction on the panel as, as much as possible. So the objectives were to basically summarize all our experimental results um, so that we have a good baseline on what to work off, um, then set up the same conditions in ANSYS uh, and calculate our heat uh, dissipation, calculate our um, heat flux and the temperature distribution across, across the heat sink. Um, one of the objectives is also to de develop a MATLAB program for heatsink uh, so that the number of fins and the fin width and the distance between two fins can be optimized uh, for maximum heat capacity. So the hardware that was used for this project was uh, a LED Lynx LED panel, um, 100 uh, volts of input power, AC input, um, the total power consumption was 200 watts, which was also later used as uh, our total heat flow uh, inside the towards the back panel for our ANSYS simulations, and uh, a total of 192 LEDs, um, which have a wavelength from 400 to 800 nanometers, um, a data acquisition unit from Agilent, some K-type thermocouples for temperature measurement, and um, thermosiphons, which were pulled off of um, refrigerators. So uh, what our experimental results showed us was uh, that if we have no cooling techniques, the back panel goes up to about 100 degrees C. Um, if we add thermosiphons and a heat sink to it, uh, the temperature gets reduced to almost 40 degrees C. And uh, with just a heat sink, um, it goes up to about 58 to 60 degrees C, uh, and then the additional 20 degrees C uh, is due to the thermosiphons. We modeled um, a heat sink uh, with thermosiphons in ANSYS, and uh, it was a crude model because uh, we couldn't um, incorporate dual phase change of like liquid turning into vapor and turning back into liquid. Uh, so we just uh, played around with the heat transfer coefficient for uh, the material itself to get the results that we wanted. Uh, but we were we were able to manage that, and the main boundary condition was that there was a uh, 200 watt heat flow through the base of the heat sink in, into it, into the material. For the fin optimization. Uh, we followed a technical report from the U.S. Army uh, that was published in 2018, uh, which has a bunch of formulas on um, heat capacity, heat transfer coefficient, um, and uh, we used them to uh, create a script. And that script basically has uh, various parameters that you can optimize, um, as shown in the image over here. Uh, you have the total width, the total height, um, the fin thickness and the spacing between the fins. So uh, as far as the boundary condition was concerned, we applied a temperature of 120 C uh, to the base of the panel. Um, from our results, uh, what we found out uh, was uh, basically if you just keep on increasing um, the number of fins, uh, your heat transfer coefficient uh, starts to drop after a while. Because if, if you keep increasing the fin thickness, if you keep increasing um, the number of fins, um, heat dissipation goes down. And that's why your heat capacity also takes a tumble.
and we found a sweet spot of like using about 14 to 15 pins for a given thickness or given width of the panel um, and have a fin thickness of 1.5 mm. Um, as far as the conclusions are concerned, um, the ANSYS model was successfully replicated um, with the current boundary conditions. It shows um, the same results as the experimental data. Uh, and the MATLAB fin showed us that um, how a reduced fin count would give us better, better results than we currently have because the off-the-shelf uh, heat sink has 31 fins as compared to what the what this MATLAB script is telling us. Um, so basically more work needs to be done towards developing a custom heat sink uh, which has all the parameters optimized not just not just the number of fins but the width and the height as well